everybody, welcome back to the NFL on Hollywood Sports. How's it going everybody? Thanks for clicking on this video, you won't be disappointed. Well first of all guys, I want to show you my new uniform, my new jacket. As you can see, here's my new jacket. And what does it say? What does it say? Washington Redskins, man. They are getting pumped up for this year. They're doing some free agency stuff. Man, we got a new GM. We ready to go. But I just want to show y'all, man. I'm right here in uniform. You see my hat right here? Hey, we ready to go, man. We are ready to go. But as you can see, man, continuing with our connected franchise, we are in week 13, and we have to go. We are 8-3. As a general manager, when you're a general manager, man, you see your team 83, you are happy. You are happy. And as you can see, we're going up against the uh, Indianapolis Colts, and they are 9-2, and two, man. We got to go up against Andrew Luck. You know, he has a lot of talent, man. You know, our weaknesses on our team is our offensive line and our secondary. And our secondary's got to do some work this week against these Indianapolis Colts. But I, what I wanted to show y'all guys is some of the goals that the owner uh, uh, Schneider has given me as the GM. Boom. All right, as you can see, our owner Dan Schneider has given me the, the uh, basically the reins to run this organization. Um, I'm doing owner duties and I'm doing GM duties. He's taking it easy, man. He, he has confidence in me. He wants me to build his team. You know, I, I, I does, he, he does some consulting with me. He calls me and asks me how things are going on. And I call him, tell him about certain things that I got planned for the franchise. And he just wants me to run it, guys. As you can see, if we can get 14 wins, we, we can get 95 legacy reward points. If we go undefeated, which is a big feat right there. Uh, it says, finish the NFL regular season undefeated in your career. You get another 475 uh, legacy points. And this is how me, the GM, and the uh, slash owner is being graded, you know. Um, he's talking about he wants one Super Bowl. He's talking about Super Bowl loss. At least we go to the Super Bowl. But if we get a loss, hey, we went to the Super Bowl. Two Super Bowl wins. Two Super Bowl losses. Three Super Bowl wins. Three Super Bowl losses. He's all, he's, uh, Dan Schneider is all talking about the Super Bowl, man. So, I just want to show y'all these goals the owner has given me to run this franchise. Okay, let's get on. Let's look at this top story right here. It says the Colts will host the Redskins in a Thanksgiving game this week. I like that, man. They got attention on us in, in the media. I'm talking about this game coming up here week 13. But as you can see, man, we got to go through, uh, as a GM, I got to go through what I do every week. Uh, we got to do some game prep, guys. And right now, our weekly uh, time remaining, we have 35 out of 35. So we got the hours that we need to do this game prep. Okay. Um, let's look. These are our experts here that kind of um, helps me out with making decisions to run the franchise. I pay these guys a lot of money. As you can see, C. Fisher right here, our defensive coordinator. We got uh, John Heath, um, our linebacker coach. We got our offensive coordinator, C. Wood. And we got our D-line coach, uh, uh, Betancourt. These are the guys we pay a lot of money to give us uh, their uh, uh, good advice, man. Um, I think last time we worked with the defensive coordinator, um, I think uh, what we should do, our D-line offense court, let's go with, let's do them in order. Um, they said, we should focus on our young talent at the outside linebacker spot. Well, we got some good linebackers. How about the D-line? What is he saying? Let's keep working on our uh, D-line's ability to attack the quarterback. And the offensive coordinator guy is saying, can we go over the game plan for this week with the with the team again all right let's do that let's go over the uh because we uh we got to score some points guys can we go over the game plan for this week's team all right as you can see we got 35 out of 35 uh balancing players development and confidence is key to building a great team that's what our owner keeps telling me he keeps sending me emails and things like that it says install the game plan. And let's go through the game plan to increase confidence. Um, cost per player is 10 hours. Um, focus on the whole team. Potential reward 
um, points is 4 to 15 confidence points. Alright. Okay, now, the whole team, 10 hours, except and continue. Quarterback, tight end, linebacker, punter, running back, offensive line, defensive back, wide receiver, D-line, and kicker. That's the whole team. For 10 hours, you can't you can't beat that. We can improve all those positions right there. Let's accept it and continue. All right, cool. Our left tackle, uh, Trent Williams. He's got 77 confidence points. I like this, guys. We're on a win streak. We won a close one. We're on a winning streak. Okay, we'll look at Brian Arakpo. He's got 73 confidence points. So these guys are ready to go, man. Alfred Moore has got 74. Ryan Kerrigan, a linebacker spot, got 68. Uh, so those, uh, well, we only did these guys right here. Trent Williams, Brian Arakpo, and Alfred Morris. All right, you can see the rest of these guys down here to get points, but... You see the check marks in the boxes right here for Alfred Morris, Brandon Rack Pro, and Trent Williams, our all pro left tackle. He's an overall 99. Brandon Rack Pro is an overall 93, but we're gonna miss him next year. He's been uh, you know, he's been sent away. Um, he did he's not gonna be with us next year. We got Alfred Morris, an overall 89. Three fantastic football players. And as you can see, we have five uh, hours left out of our 35 hours, but we got well, hey, we did a lot right there, so let's start the activity. All right, regular season, week 13. Alfred Moore is 4 .4, uh, plus 4. Brian Arakpo, plus 5. And Trent Williams is a plus 4. I like it, guys. I like it. All right, let's back out. Well, let's see what it says. Go back to game prep home. All right. All right, guys, um, but that's how we do it, guys. As a GM, you got to listen to your experts here. And right, we just went through the offensive coordinator. We only got five hours left. Um, I think next time we're going to go to the D-line coach, and we're going to look at him. Um, it takes 18 hours right there, cost per player, for pass rush drills. And you can see we only got five, so we'll do that on the next go around. Oh, wow, you can get a lot of XP with this guy on this D-line group. All right, guys. Anything else I want to talk about? We're going to eventually get into the, you see at the owners tab right here. We're going to talk to the finance guys. We pay these guys a lot of money too. The stadium guys, staff, team success, fan happiness, and marketing. If you look right here at the finances, man said potato chip sales are pretty average. Let's um, try to maximize revenue and tweak prices. These are my brains right here, man. These are my brains right here as far as running the franchise. These guys, all they do is run numbers, man. They run numbers. We pay them a lot of money to run numbers to keep up with the actual, um, the real stats. Not the football stats, but the uh, the field operation and franchise stats. Okay. Uh, team success, 24. Popularity, 5th. I like that part. Staff 23rd, Stadium 20th, we're not really doing really good. Our concessions are down with 16th, our merchandise is down with 19th, and our ticket sales are down. But we are, we ha we having a good season right now, so I, I think all those things are going up. But we're going to put some intense focus on them eventually when we do some owner's mode. As you can see, we are in the lead in the NFC East. The Redskins are 8-3, and three. the Eagles are 6-5, and five. Cowboys are 5-5 five and five at 500, and the Giants are 5-5 five and five at 500, and they both tied one. You look at our stats right here, like I said, I'm making the games a little longer so we get some improved stats. And there's our le le legacy leaderboard right there. You see offensive leaders, you got Drew Brees, Marshawn Lynch, and Julio Jones. Eventually, we're going to have some of our guys in those stats, guys. But... That was a quick video. We had to do our game prep. We did our game prep, but now, in week 13, we will be going up at our record eight and three. Our offensive rank is 32 because of the minutes I play, and our offensive rank is one because we don't play enough minutes. But those numbers are gonna give us real actual stats. 
give us uh, a really telling stats of where we're at really in this in this league. And you can see the Colts, they're 92, very good team, very good record. Their offensive rank is 14 and their defensive rank is number four. So we got a lot of work to do, guys. But uh, in the next video, man, video, you will see the what my Washington Redskins going up against Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. So stay tuned. And as always, until next time, everybody, thank you for watching the NFL on Hollywood Sports.